good day and welcome to video number 16 or the last video of the 2023 NCA level 2 statistic paper called apply probability method in solving problem in this video we are going to try and solve question 3c part 1 and part 2 and if we can solve both of them it will be an excellent question if you only get part of the question right then it will be achieved so without further ado let's try to solve this question okay we shall remove the cover sheet okay the question is in the study it was reported that overall the New Zealand youth watch a daily average of only 34 minutes of TV. However, when excluding those who didn't watch TV at all, okay, the average was 114 minutes daily. Explain the effect of including the youth who did not watch TV at all on the mean or distribution of minutes of watching TV by New Zealand youth. Okay, so when we exclude them, okay, the average was 114 when we include them the average was only 34 minutes so if you include the uh the the youth who did not watch tv or zero minutes at all okay the the mean and the median or the center would drop dramatically from 114 minutes to 34 minutes so by including them okay it will drop the numbers of the mean and the median when you drop the mean and median so the if you include them okay this will be included the distribution will not be more a normal shape it will be more like this because more numbers of zero is around here so there are more people on this side so instead of normal it will be more skewed that is the first part you can get it right as an achieve and now we're going to do the second part which is the excellent part okay the excellent part is you're doing inverse normal and you need to get a graphic calculator if not it'll take some time to solve this okay let me get this paper out of the way okay let's do the question okay so we are going to do from scratch so assume a normal distribution model the number of minutes of new zealand you spend watching tv with a mean of 114 Okay, if 12% of New Zealand youth do not watch TV, watch more than 150 minutes daily, calculate the standard deviation of daily minutes spent watching TV. So whenever they ask you to calculate mean or standard deviation, this is what you do. Okay, you need to standardize the equation and then get the Z value. And from the Z value, you substitute into the equation to solve this. Let's see what we do. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're first going to draw the normal distribution graph okay to understand what we're doing okay so the normal distribution has a mean mean in the middle is going to be as i read somewhere is going to be 114 minutes okay the standard deviation is something we do not know so we have to standardize it okay so and you know that 12 percent watch more than 150 minutes so 150 minutes is here and 12 percent means the area is probability is going to be x is equal to 0 0.12 okay so we need to standardize it to standardize it what it meant that the same thing here okay the new is going to be equal to zero and uh, sigma is going to be equal to one and we need to know what is 1005 equals to in a z value to do that we're going to help use the help of the calculator to solve that so we're going to on the calculator hopefully you can see that okay i'm going to put the calculator side to it we're going to switch it on okay and going to exit and we are going to statistics again statistics and go to distribution f5 and again go to normal and we're going to do inverse normal now okay i've done the number so we're going to follow it make sure it's invariable tail is on the right because the graph here is on the right so we're going to put on the right so we're going to execute okay we've done that okay area this area is 0 0.12 so we're going to put 0 0.12 we execute them and then the sigma we're going to standardize here is equal to one and new is zero okay once we have done that we're just going to press execute and the answer for z is going to be 1.7499 okay 1.7499 okay or we're going to simplify to 1.75 okay to simplify to be 1.75 so once we know that that is 1.75 we need to convert back into the non-standardized the formula is z equals to x minus nu over sigma and then the z is now 1.75 hopefully you can see okay 
So I'm going to remove this for a while so we can bring it up, okay? 1.75 and X is going to be 100, uh, 150 minutes, sorry, it is not zero. 150, new is going to be the mean is 114 and then the sigma is what we're going to find, okay? So now you calculate them, it's going to be 36 over sigma because 150 minus 114 is 36, okay? So now what we're going to do, you're going to 1.75 is equal to 36 over sigma. If you know your algebra well, you can swap the position here because sigma goes up, it's going to be 36 over 1.75. Hopefully you can see. Yep, you can, okay? And then you just put in a calculator and the sigma is going to be 30.64 minute. And if you can get that right, that is an excellent or E7 in this paper. Hope you go through this question again because it's not an easy question. And I'll see you in the future because this is the end of the paper. And hope you do well in this exam. Cheers everyone and have a great day.